What's up, everybody? My name is Jayla, and shout out to Great Team Moves. And we got to start off with uh, the star of the show right now. Let's just be honest, y'all. Summer is literally carrying baddies on her back, okay, uh, on her mama. And she going to let y'all know. She's only been on, what, two episodes so far? Three episodes, maybe? And um, she got everybody saying, on my mama, which is funny to me because y'all know we I'm from the back. We've been saying that, on my mama, right? But anyways. Sing it, Liddy. Oh my mama, let's turn the fuck up. Bless these bitches' house. Oh my back. Oh my mama. Yes. I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh my mama. Who you? You is a weak bitch. Oh my mama. Who on war, nigga? I'm not no hoe. I'm not ducking no motherfucking face, bitch. Oh my mama. Still pretty. Oh my mama. Oh my daddy, bitch. Please though. Oh my mama, don't get dizzy. Like these bitches ready to crash out on God heaven. Talking about, oh, oh, my, right. oh my mama, y'all bitches still not shit to me. Still getting in this bitch and get. Yeah, so uh, as you know, uh, Summer is the star of the show on her mama. Okay, it is what it is, whether y'all like it or not. Okay, <laughs> this is this is hilarious, bro. Shout out to Summer, man. But I showed you guys this for a reason, right? I showed y'all. You know, on my mama, she got all of these little taglines, these ad libs, these sayings, these slogans, right? Well, Summer has been going viral on uh, TikTok over the last couple weeks, man. Everybody doing like, you know, little TikToks and stuff and reactions, uh, like voiceovers and stuff like that, man. Shout out to uh, Summer. She doing her thing. If you don't back the fuck up off of me before I do you in and still get in this bitch and get litty. Oh my mama. And they done gave the wrong bitch money on my mama. On my mama, bitch. I'm gonna show you how to do it, ho. If you don't back the fuck up off me before I do you in and still get in this bitch and get litty. We get back from the club. I'm buzzing like my cousin. And this tinker get on some weird. Still risky. Oh my mama. Oh my daddy, bitch. Still pretty. Still got Hat and all. Bruh, even got DTB reacting. Look, remember, everybody, bruh, you can tell in that house, them girls is picking on her. All the, you know what I'm saying? They notice, bruh. They they see when they, when when somebody's a star. All right? So, I mean, we got to admit, same thing happened with Sean. You know what I'm saying? Um... The fans love her and stuff like that. So they kept trying to bring her back on the show and stuff like that. Knowing damn well, she ain't ish. Let's be honest. Come on. They was exposing her. They were saying she had dirty draws. She wasn't cleaning. She was nasty. You know what I'm saying? Just do it. You know what I'm saying? But if she popular, they go they go ride with her. Glorilla was out of pocket for hanging out with uh, Krayshawn while she was uh, pregnant. Six, seven, eight months pregnant. Uh, smoking with her. Hanging out with her. Drinking. Come on, bro. Same thing with stinking red, bro. Like they two peas in a pod, three peas in a pod. They all ain't ish. You feel me? Like for real. Unstable creatures. The house full of women, cub. House full of sensitive ass females. Dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word. I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word. Come on, man. All right, let's see what the comments saying. Uh, summer going viral. Meanwhile, Mariah at home begging for TikTok coins. That's funny. Yeah, because I think, wait, do Mariah got beef for Summer too? But it's so many girls that, that don't like Summer right now. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, the oh, my mama going to do it for me every time. Uh, it's the fact that the baddies be thinking the fans not going to F with uh, when they be filming, calling uh, them most hated, all that. Summer is winning the fans' love. I mean, winning the fans over. Uh, they love her, and it's because the baddies making her more and more viral every time they pick at her. That's a good point. I like Summer from the start. She reminds me of some of my cousins. She reminds me of Stankin' Red. We was just talking about her. I've been saying that, too. She reminds me of Stankin' Red. She sound like her. I mean, they is both from the Midwest. 
you know, uh, Stankin' Red from St. Louis. Um, and Summers from Detroit. But I don't know. They got the same, like, voice, cadence, you know what I'm saying? The same style. Let's just be honest, y'all. They, it, It's giving ratchet. I mean, it is what it is, right? Little hood boogers. But what I will say, it seems like Summer's not acting. When it comes to the uh, pretty much majority of the chicks on the show, it uh, like a Stinker, Stinker Bella, a Jasmine Renee, a Emma, um, even an Anna Mac, man. You know, it seems like some of them be overdoing it, overacting, right? I don't get that vibe with Summer. I really believe Summer act like that. I think she that's just how she is. She, she loud, annoying, and crazy, okay? This is crazy. But yeah, man, shout out to Summer. Shout out to Summer, man. She going viral, right? But look, though, I told you she fought damn near everybody in the house, right? She fought so many damn people in the house, y'all, that I forgot she fought some people. I forgot she fought Slim. Did y'all remember that? I forgot we covered that during, you know, when uh, before the show uh, started. Remember when they was leaking all of the fights? Nigga, what? What? Okay, I forgot she fought Slim. And that's a good matchup because they the same size, right? But remember, according to the baddies, uh, Summer, Summer bigger than Slim. They were saying Summer was bigger than uh, Anna. She picking on Anna. I'm like, you know they the same damn size, right? But let's zoom in on it. It looked like Summer was uh, giving her that, that work. Look, looked like the uh, security had to grab her. Okay. It says Laura Slay versus uh versus Summer. I don't know if it's this next episode though. In the next episode, it looked like it was Bad Dolly fighting Pretty P. Um Pretty P fighting Stinkabella and DTB. Bad Dolly versus Tashiki. And remember, they ended the last episode, so is this next episode is gonna start off with uh Ivory and Big Lex fighting again for what? The third time already? I, th I feel like they fight damn near the whole show. Okay? But yeah. Yeah, man. This is, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it because it's, they're the same size. We we can't hear that size stuff. But, it, but just from this, I mean, you know, we have to actually see it. I don't know yet. But from seeing it right here, it looked like Summer was giving her that work. The security had to grab her. You see? And it was on the bus. Damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see this. Let's see what the comments were saying. Uh, I love me some Summer. They mad that she keeps uh, going when someone says some ish to her. Oh, well, she gives me stunner low-key. Just don't say ish to her because uh, then, yeah, she gonna want to keep going. Y'all see how Anna uh, keeps going. Y'all like that, though. That's a good point. They always talk about Summer shut up, but they don't ever tell Anna Mac to shut up. And she the main one that need to shut the hell up. Let's talk about it. Okay? Uh, man, I don't know. I like Summer a little bit, but she just keeps fighting. I mean, she like she fought everybody. Y'all, hold on. So she fought Slim, Anna, Jasmine Renee, Yoshi, Emma, Ivory. I mean, she going at it. She doing her thing. I, and I'm sure it's somebody I'm missing right now. Like, man. Um, I, I don't know, bro. You said a real baddie don't check the scale before uh the lick. Yeah, well, my thing is why they keep talking trash. Anna Mac got all the excuses in the world, but she the main one talking, her and Biggie. How how y'all don't want to fight nobody? Right? How y'all don't want to fight nobody, but got got the most to say? Like it, it, it literally, like y'all, it makes zero sense to me. It makes zero sense to me. I, I'll never understand. I'll never understand. Right? But um, that's obviously not it, y'all. I'm telling y'all, Summer is the star of the show. Okay, and a lot of people want to hear from her, and you know about what she got to say, especially when it comes to a lot of cast members. On the show, who she get along with, who she don't like, what's happening behind the scenes. So let's see what um, let's see what she has to say. Let's see what she has to say. But wait, 
Dejbois. She asked, uh, she's talking about uh, Ivory, okay? Whether you felt like I won, lost, or anything, bitch, I did not come out bleeding. Only one time, and that's when me and Ivory fought, and bitch, I got braces. Yeah, you definitely my got lip braces. Was, it cut my lip, but y'all say that's y'all heavyweight champ. What we doing? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how people give her so much props. The stuff that she's know, done bitch. in reality TV is just so unhuman, like unladylike. I don't know. No. I, I told a bitch on the sprinter, bitch, I don't know of you. I never heard of you. I never watched you on TV. Mm -hmm. That's the honest truth. If that wasn't. And that was nothing. No shade. Yeah, no that was no. no nothing. I, honestly. It was no shade. But I, I swear she gave me stinking red vibes, y'all. They the same damn person. They probably long lost sisters or something. I swear they act the same way, talk the same way, all that. But um, I got to respect uh, Summer, y'all, because she's not scared of the other girls. I mean, she's not scared of none of these people, right? Um, Ivory was bullying everybody, and uh, that's why they was being followers and, how, and why they jumped on Summer. And how everybody root for summer now in the first place, right? Um, remember after she fought Anna, she got on the uh, uh you know, on the sprinter, she was talking her trash, and and Ivory, you know, basically jumped on her, started trash with her. You feel me? Uh, st started beef with her, talking about Anna too small to be fighting and all that. Then all of a sudden, Emma start fighting her, and Yoshi and Jasmine, you know, what I'm saying it's like weird, it's super weird, obviously, Stinker Bella. Got into it with her because I feel like Natalie Nunn set her up. Nat Natalie messy as hell. Okay. So they not understanding that the more y'all pick on this girl, we choosing her side. And like I said, Pretty P, all of them was acting like they were scared of uh, uh, Ivory. And Summer talking her in. She like, man, I heard she the heavyweight. She y'all heavyweight? I don't know, bro. And I think Summer older than her too. Hey, Ivory not aging well at all, y'all. Ivory is 22. Y'all know that? That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's run it back. Whether you felt like I won, lost, or anything, bitch, I did not come out bleeding. Only one time, and that's when me and Ivory fought, and bitch, I got braces. Yeah, you definitely my got lip braces. Was, it cut my lip, but y'all said that's y'all heavyweight champ. What we doing? Yeah... I don't know. I don't know how people give her so much props. The stuff that she's know, done bitch. in reality TV is just so unhuman, like unladylike. I don't know. Oh, no. I, I told a bitch on the sprinter, bitch, I don't know of you. I never heard of you. I never watched you on TV. Mm -hmm. That's the honest truth. If that wasn't. And that was nothing. No shade. No yeah, that was no. no nothing. I, honestly, it was no shade. But I guess if you not a bitch fan like everybody else that's a problem that's an issue and that's an insult and you know what no. but that's an ego bro ivory is a bully i don't understand how ivory but ivory got a lot of like she got a cult fan base too and they make excuses for her remember ivory the same chick that what peed in like a cup or something and threw it on um on the mail and this other chick bro crazy mail mouth was open and everything uh, y'all disgusting thing now like, we're thinking too because that's probably what that's it was. an ego thing though them bitches knew who she was so they was terrified i knew nothing even if i knew i still don't wouldn't give a fuck. yeah so it's kind of like i was ready for whatever as y'all can see whether you felt like i won lost or anything bitch i did not come out bleeding only one time and that's when me and i fought and Let's see what the comments say um, y'all said that's uh y'all heavyweight champ. What we doing? Yeah, summer talking trash. I still look somebody look somebody actually said it in the comment right here, y'all. Uh, I still can't believe Ivory is only twenty two, right? And she just turned twenty two. So when she recorded and filmed Baddies, um, Midwest, she was twenty one. Y'all, that's that that's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, they said this really given the summer season. You know it is. Just like Sean stole the show. Just like DTB stole the show. 
I mean, this is this is a uh, summer's time. This is summer uh, summer uh, term. Summer, summer, summer time. Uh, I love summer real bad. Y'all hate Miss Mac, but let this girl lie and, lo- and y'all love her. Lie, bro, bro. Just 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 say that you want to kiss uh, Anna Mac in the mouth. What is you? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We over here talking about summer. People in the comment section talking about, oh, y'all don't like Anna Mac, but y'all like her. Yup. Yup. This girl didn't fall six, seven girls on two episodes. Bad Dolly didn't call out Anna Mac three, four times. She, I'm not fighting you. I had no reason to. Nobody had no reason to fight Summer either. Right? And, and bruh, and she got to She Hulk. You know what I'm saying? Baddie's Mew Ninja Turtle. Okay, over here protecting her. Anyways, um, I was uh saying the same thing. Like, what's the hype about her? Yeah, with Ivory. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. Anyways, um, we gonna talk about the uh the Stinkabella situation where she basically, you know, was bullying her too, right? And Natalie definitely set this girl up. We know that it was obvious. Okay. Because I watched the episode, y'all, when she was on the Sprinter event, not the Sprinter event, the, bu- the bus, all right? The Midwest bus. Um, uh, What's the girl name? Uh, Summer was saying that she, you know, she want a chain. You know what I'm saying? Natalie, where my chain at? Uh, Stinkabella was talking about, girl, you, you, girl, you thirsty. You thirsty for that chain, blah, blah, blah. Man, they come back from the club, right? After a girl already tried to jump and beat up on uh Summer. Before they even got inside the club, right? Um, they get back from the club and think about uh, and Natalie Tomo. Girl, you said you uh taking this girl chain. Y'all go take it, take it right now. Y'all go fight. Summer like I didn't say that, and I actually believe Summer because you see she ain't scared of nobody. She talk trash. Like if she says something, she go stand on it. I think Natalie set her up. Natalie just wanted a storyline for think about because a lot of girls is there for no damn reason. Okay. We know AK Bar and Tommy really had beef. Um, who who else? Maybe they try to reignite the DTB and Tashiki thing, but that didn't really work, right? Um, Slim and Roly, obviously, but you know a lot of them didn't really have no storylines. Like, is why is Biggie there? Biggie, th- they're just breathing and literally eating, eating and breathing. Okay, like let's talk about it. Dig back, dig back, dig back, dig back. Down my back, get loaded up with snacks and different food. Squeeze into the tiny shirt, my big back has no room. Uh, anywho, okay. So you know they're just on the show for no reason. So Stinkabella need a storyline. That's why she fought Pretty P for no reason, right? And that's why she threw that uh drink in Bad Dolly face when she was uh fighting Tashiki. All right. Anyways, uh, this is after Natalie set her up, and this is right before Stinkabella slapped her and took her wig. Go out like no for nobody. You saw this. And bitch, you want to fight, we want to fight, but bitch, literally, <laughs> back to back to back to back. Keep your mouth. All bitches want to smoke with me. I don't give a f- about you, 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 and you. I ain't never ducking no taco. Anybody call me? I did. I text you. Oh, look. Tinka Bella's walking in. Surprise, surprise. I'm not about to be on there with you. I, look, I don't give a f- how cute you is. No, 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 shut up. Literally, be quiet. Don't ever, don't ever. Let me hear you say you want to snatch anything from me. Da, 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 da. No, no, no. Yeah, bro, just being messy. But even after that, apparently they're on good terms. Apparently they're on good terms because she shouted her out. She said, um, Stinkabella is one of her favorite baddies. But she called her OG. I'm like, Stinkabella only been on one season, but I guess. OG, of course, my favorite baddie other than myself mm-hmm. is Natalie. You know, I feel like she the OG that get, you know, look past because, you know, she the boss and a friend. Mm-hmm. It's hard to balance both. So everybody coming at you, overlooking you, but, and Roly, I loved her. And it's crazy because, like, I love Tinka, 
You know what I'm saying? I was about like, to ask, I'm about to ask you about Tinka. Yeah. yeah. So it's crazy. Hobby. Hey, so my favorite OG, of course. And people was confused because they like uh Stinka is a OG. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Wait a minute, hold up. Right? That's what I was saying. But uh, I guess they consider her OG. You said in this moment, Stinka New Summer had a prettier wig. Uh, yeah, it, it, it looked better on her for sure. But um, Stinka Bella actually responds to this. Uh, she says, first new baddie with the chain. First new baddie to fly private. First new baddie to go viral every week and make thousands off the viral moments. First new baddie to be booked in the UK. First new baddie to make 100000 in less than a year. First new baddie to be herself. Uh, girl, you be she be acting like she be acting. She be putting way too much on it. Uh, I'm a, I'm a questioner on that one, and it's it's too many allegations about you allegedly bleaching your skin. Because every time we see you, you either dark skin, then sometimes you 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 light skin, then sometimes you you caramel. You be looking like a ghost, you know. Anyways, um, she says first new baddie to have a song. With another TV reality star. Uh, first new baddie to do it. Period. Uh, give credit when it's due. I mean, I'm an OG in real life. And tomorrow is Tinkabella Tuesdays. Enjoy. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I know you don't. I know you don't believe that. I know you don't believe that. That's why I'm not jumping. That's why I just got it. Um, OG is someone who was on a previous season. Y'all taking this to heart. Oh, I guess. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Anna and Tashiki were considered OGs on Caribbean. What's the difference? Oh, okay, I didn't know that. So, all somebody got it. So, okay, so everybody an OG damn near on the show then. I didn't know that. So, DTB is an OG since she was just on last season, right? I'm, when I think of OG, I'm thinking Mariah Lynn. I'm thinking of you know the, the y'all said Biggie, right? Biggie came in uh, on on Baddies West. That's just the third season, so she been on for like four seasons. Her damn self, right? Um, yeah, okay, I I, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, literally ninety five percent of the damn cast is OGs. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, it is giving Soldier Boy, huh? He the first to do this. She the first to do that. She made crank that. She the first to uh, uh make a dance on baddies. She the first one to uh to uh make a MySpace account on baddies. You know. The 12, 2015. Yes. Okay. Um. And uh, have you been changed in any way for uh based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. Uh. uh anywho. Okay. Um. Anywho, let's see what else somebody's saying. Is Tink really the first new baddie to fly the private uh the fly the private jet? I don't think that's accurate. They said no, it was uh Diamond. They said no, it was ET and Mariah on East. Stunna, Razor, and Low on West. Okay. Damn. <clears throat> we got some baddies historians. That's why I like looking in the comment section in the chat. Because y'all y'all be keeping it 100. Um, girl, you ain't no OG, and you def not the first uh, t uh, new to do any of that stuff. Tinka is an OG, and where and where are Summer's edges? Oh, y'all know damn well the baddies don't got edges. Why you asking stupid questions like that? All right, you said you blame Meatball. She created the monsters Tinkabella when she brought her to baddies. You might have a point there. You might have a point there. We we gotta blame Meat Belly. We gotta we we gotta blame uh Meaty the Pooh, y'all. All right. But you know, Summer still has a lot more to say. All right, she is the star of the show, so let's keep talking about her. Uh, yeah, me, Dolly, and Lex, we talk off after the show, which is genuine. Like we really like them. But them bitches, I don't see that because every time you look up in the blogs, they're fighting with each other. Dumbass shit happening. Like, bitch, is y'all really cool? You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's oh, she real oh, okay. So she throwing people under the bus about the you know 
um she she's throwing them under the bus saying that you know a lot of this is is fake and we know that most of it is their co-workers their associates it is reality television a lot of this is scripted so on the bright side i mean you know it's on both ends of the spectrum there's some people that literally genuinely get along and they're super cool then there's people that just they're fake about it they don't get along okay and we've been finding that out about natalie <clears throat> okay natalie and uh scotty okay natalie and diamond all right uh natalie and a lot of people natalie and Krayshawn. I, I think natalie don't get along with most of these girls personally okay and, and i'm about to prove that okay that's the difference yeah it don't me and my like bitches it. we really getting money for real we really locked in for real we really fuck with each other and talk to each other for real. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Dolly. Yeah, yes. it's Lex. Yeah, love the new girl. I'm popping y'all shit. Them bitches, them some bitches y'all should look out for it too. I them really bitches, hope all three of y'all are back. Like literally, we're going to be back. I really know. Like what? So like, yeah, me, Dolly, and Lex, we talk off after the show, which is so far from what I've seen. I, I wouldn't mind seeing them back. Um. We don't need the OGs back. So whoever we got to replace them with, replace them. We don't need to see uh, Anna, Biggie, um, and Stinkabella. Get, get them up out of here. Uh, next will be Roly. Get her up out of here. And even Tashiki. She's boring, y'all. She's boring. She don't have no personality. She can fight. But she don't give us the fights. So it's like you just there just because you there. You know? I don't know, man um you said natalie never got along with anyone since yeah since bgc right right you know let's see what the comments were saying uh, uh i love the confidence she has summer big lex and dolly should definitely be back next season well i told y'all i'm team summer uh lex and dolly all right even though they giving me the uh, i'm giving them the side eye i'm still for show summer team summer but big lex you know, fighting Jayla because you feel like she was bullying Gretchen when Gretchen was literally being weird and calling everybody the N-word and stuff. This is weird to me. Okay? It's, it's, it's just weird. Alright? You said, are these females? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I will hope. I mean, they do be giving a transformer was between your thighs vibes sometimes. Okay, it, 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 it be giving real Autobot, Optimus Prime, Megatron, Decepticon energy. Okay, so um, this is uh Summer. Okay, talking about not being a fighter, right? But she still stands on business. I mean, I that's what I respect about it. She don't even gotta know how to fight. She gonna stand up for herself. That's one thing that you can't take away from her. Summer does stand. Uh, stand up for herself, unlike Biggie, all right, and unlike Anna when she picks and chooses. Okay, she'll fight Summer and Nunu all day, but when Bad Dolly, Big Kiva come to her with that energy, uh, matching the same energy that she gave them, all of a sudden she too small, she injured reserve, she ain't got no reason to fight, I ain't fighting you, like, oh, man, all right. Did you say you really a fighter for real? And by fighter, I don't mean to say like you can't fight. What I, I'm saying is, would you rather be honestly, a person to talk it out and stuff? It's just just what the hell I they never pushed you want to be. To fight first. These yeah. bitches want to fight me. Yeah, that's the difference. And you just not a hoe. And yeah, I'm yeah. not a hoe. I'm not about to back down. Win, lose, or draw. I'm I agree. I agree. She like, hey, I'm just you know they want to fight her. They do. All you got to do is just watch the show. She going to talk her trash regardless. That's what it is. Like, like they all, Brad, they don't uh, give Anna that same energy. Anna just be yapping like a little chihuahua, right? At least I'll say this. Summer's actually funny to me. Anna Mac, I ain't never laughed at nothing Anna Mac ever said in my life. She's not funny to me. I mean, it's just not. Summer is hilarious, okay? I say that from day one. I'm cute as fuck. I love to be pretty. I love to get money. I like to have fun. I like to talk shit. I like to chill. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I don't got time for that. Like, bitch, I don't be around. I know bitches don't like me, but I don't be around bitches that don't like me unless a chicken ball. Exactly. So for this...
Uh, nah, I, I watched that episode. You you got to rewatch it. You said Summer didn't stand up for herself when she got slapped by Stinker. Yes, she did. She literally got up to fight the girl. Okay. And the security grabbed her. They just would not let her fight her. It was weird. I'm like, why y'all getting between them? And why y'all holding her back? She was trying to. Then she went to her room. They brought her back and stuff like that. And they had a little sit down and all that stuff. But she, she definitely tried to fight her. Opportunity, yes. I'm on that. Okay, what's up? What we doing? Is it Because I still though? gotta... No. Because y'all gotta go to the clinic. Because guess what? After that, bitch, we still gotta go out and look good tonight and get this money. I don't see a bitch right here, oh. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what these bitches got going on. I'm gonna be still cute, still pretty. I'm gonna put that motherfucking wig on, get glammed up, put on a badass outfit, and I'm going out. Y'all bitches can be mad, turned up, but I'm not about to dwell on that. Yeah, I don't shit. feel no type of way about none of the girls. Honestly. Mm -hmm. You gotta ask some bitches how they feel about me. You. Okay. <laughs> okay? Clock it. Mm -hmm. I really don't. I just don't. I react to them bitches. Mm -hmm. I just do me. And them bitches come for me and I react so to the them only bitches. So would you say you really a fighter for real? And by fighter, I don't mean to say like you can't fight with uh yeah man she doing her thing bro shout, 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 shout out to uh summer man she got she got uh something to say to her fans so my advice to all the girls oh my lord they got they had to do the music no nope, we can't do it we, we can't do the music so uh let's ignore that and let's talk about natalie giving some of her flowers she she know brett Summer's a cash cow for Natalie. Na what, whatever chick that's that's you know that's bringing eyeballs to the show, right? And got that star power and stuff like that. She's gonna get behind them every single time. Every single time. Well, except I ain't gonna lie. It seems like she still don't accept DTB. It's something about she do not. I don't know what's going on. They really don't like each other. And honestly, it don't seem like. Uh, DTB is really that bothered by her personally, but it seems like Natalie really don't like DTB. She she really don't like her. But anyways, so um so this is uh Natalie actually um you know reposting summer interview right here. She says it, she says summer names her favorite OG. Obviously one of them was Natalie. So Natalie says my baby summer. She knows she always going to be good over here with me. I got my little turn up baddie for life. Okay. All right. Uh, somebody says she's replacing the OGs with the new Gs as she should. As she should. We tired. We tired. They said this is a W for summer. She uh, deserves it. Natalie will keep her on TV. Um, love uh, summer personality. And she funny. I just got to understand her as a person. <laughs> Uh, see, Mariah Lynn, Natalie doesn't like you, but Anna do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why people be in the comment section being shady? Ed had to nerd a uh, tiger in the post. Oh, my Lord. What What did Mariah Lynn... What did Mariah Lynn have anything to do with this? The 12, 2015. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way for you? Uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. Lord have mercy. Um, but y'all know we gotta hear from um from uh from Little Mac. Yes, y'all. We gotta hear about Little Mac and Big Mac, the Animaniacs. All right, Cow and Chicken, Ren and Stimpy, Timon and Pumbaa, Pinky and the Brain, Two Stupid Dogs. Yes. That's Little Mac and Big Mac, okay? She got her nerve to talk about Summer again, okay? Um, it's giving jealous to me. For somebody that's got all this money, she seems, you know, very bothered by Summer. I don't understand. Remember, that, remember Anna said she dirty, she, she ugly, poor, she gives homeless... I mean, for somebody that gives you all of that, you're very bothered by Summer, okay? 
And Biggie was scared to fight her. Summer called Biggie out. Remember? I don't think it was this last episode. It was this episode before that. So maybe episode four when they was all fighting in the front lawn. Summer called out Biggie. Biggie was like, what, what, what you want to fight me? I'm not fighting nobody. I'm not, I'm not fighting nobody. That's when uh, Tashiki and Roly and AK Bar was calling her out. Like, girl, like you being messy, talking trash. Because um, Summer remember when she was talking about her wig. Remember she was talking about, remember uh, Anna Max snatched her wig. And Biggie was like, let me smell it. <laughs> let me smell it. <sighs> like, what? What? Like, for one, that was even weird. Like, anyways, I guess you're trying to say it stank. You trying to smell the girl scout? I don't know, man. I I I I, I don't know. Anyways, let's see what she got to say. Went up to summer, like literally trying to be like, "Why do you have a problem with me, like, girl?" F- that bitch. What? And she was trying to talk to summer, so I wasn't really fucking with that shit. And um, that's why I started going off on being the way I was, and I was talking her the way I was because she did that shit in front of everybody. And it's like, girl, that bitch just fought me. What are you literally doing right now? As for the Jayla and Biggie situation, if I was on Baddies Caribbean, that shit would never went like that. I would have pushed Jayla down the fucking stairs and I told Jayla that's her face. Like, that's my sister. And I'm not going to be cool with you until my sister tells me it's okay. Biggie told me it was okay. I built a bond w- with Jayla. I, I, not built a bond, but me and Jayla are cool and I love her. That's like my big sister now. Um, So a lot of stuff that y'all commenting on, Y'all don't know, y'all don't see. There's behind the scenes, there's cut scenes, there's edited scenes. And Biggie so happened to go up to Summer after I already, ooh, ride that cowgirl. After I already had did all that and was like, uh, Summer, like, why you got a problem with me, Summer? Like, like, no, like, first of all, don't even give a fuck. And that's just what it is. Like, that's just what it was. Anytime, and anytime Summer did try Biggie, she couldn't because I'm right here. You got a problem, you can fight me because the fuck one, my sister, my sister might beat you up because she big as fuck for sure. And two, like, fight me, huh? you're not about to be checking my sister. And my sister told me she don't want to fight. Like, Biggie went up to some. So you're telling somebody else to fight, but you don't want to fight. Why you ain't fighting bad Dolly? Y'all, I'm, bruh, I, can, I cannot be the only one that's annoyed with Anna Mac. I, please. I know I'm not the only one. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? Right. Just say what we want. Uh, I shut up. When you think about fuck it. Up. <sighs> Somebody says, how are you so worried about Biggie not defending herself when you let Dolly push the soul out of your body? You didn't even defend Biggie against J.O. Yet we uh supposed to believe you would have pushed Jayla down the stairs. Right, and that was a crazy thing. Talking about you would push Jayla down the stairs. What? I don't think she want to see it with Jayla either. Anna, did you not cop please with Dolly? Yes, she did. Anna and Biggie arguments are so sister-coded. Girl, Jayla would have dragged you uh, good riddance. Uh, You not about to be checking my sister and my sister talk about she don't want to fight. Anna, that's literally Dolly pressing you over and over. And you like, I don't want to fight. Yeah, I don't have a problem. Right. See how she always has something to say? This is exactly why she always in situations when people uh, where people want to fight her, but be quiet sometimes. I'm telling you, they talking about Summer talking. She the original Summer. All she do is talk. Like she, bro, she be messy. You see how messy she is? Uh, I'm so confused. Uh, Biggie is grown as F and can make her own decisions. Um, she can do what she wants. Anna, you don't get to have an opinion on if somebody wants to be in beef or uh, no. When uh, Dolly almost knocked the life out of you. I don't care if we friends, sisters. You don't associate yourself with my op. I don't care if we had a disagreement. You don't switch up. It's about loyalty. All she do is run her mouth. And when confronted, it uh, she's scary. Girl, look at your eye. Tell them how you was getting mopped by stunner friend. Oh, uh oh, girl, you clearly can see Biggie don't f with you like that. It's giving Rory and um Ivory. Okay, from um from was it Young and the Reckless, right? NTTV, I believe. Um, 
I like Anna, but how you go talk about Biggie, but you scared to fight Dolly? Let's okay. So I mean, mostly everybody in the comment section is pretty, pretty logical. Um, yeah. Uh, her so mad about Biggie talking to people she don't f with just confirms to me that she really don't like when Tashiki does that, but she don't say anything because she gonna, cause uh, cause Tess gonna fight for her anyways. Uh oh. Uh oh, yeah. So it looked like Summer's in the middle of a lot of drama, even outside of the show. Um, she got these girls' panties in a bunch. She got these girls' panties in a bunch. That's 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 for real. All right. Um, you said Jayla would have did her like she did Biggie when she said she wanted to smack. Right, right, right. You said she definitely told Dolly she don't want to fight. Yeah, like what is she talking about? I don't know. And remember, they didn't do nothing with J.O. Uh, slap Biggie. 